Hi everyone, Sabella here from sabellasblessingshop.com and Sabella Owens Ministries. Well, I have an encouraging, um, really prophetic declaration, I would call it today. I mean, you could call it a prophetic word, I suppose, but it's really more of a declaration um, to pray over you. It's a word the Lord has given me, has planted in my heart for quite a while. He actually spoke this word to be over my ministries and um, the uh, School of the Spirit as well that's in the birthing process. So um, so I'm excited. It's just been kind of incubating, <laughs> so to speak, and, um, and it's ready to be released for me to also speak it over you. Hallelujah. So I'm going to just open up in prayer real quick, and then I'm going to declare this word over you. So get ready to receive. So Father God, I just thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh, we just thank you. We praise you, Lord, because you are so good, Papa. I thank you, Abba Daddy. You are so good, Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are so good. Lord, I just pray for every person under the sound of my voice that their hearts would be open. That, Lord, when this declaration comes out by your Spirit, that it would just go right into good soil in their heart. That it would be fruitful and multiply, Father. Ephesians 3.20, multiplication upon your people. That they would be inspired, encouraged to, to, to rise up, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover us in your blood, cover us in your love. Put your angels about us, Father, and we thank you. I submit to you, Holy Spirit, now and ask that you would anoint this declaration. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Okay, well, I'm going to go right into this word. This is based on... Ephesians 3.20. So you're going to hear me say Ephesians 3.20. Um, those of you that uh, off the top of your head aren't sure what Ephesians 3.20 is, I will read that to you right now. I'm reading the New, Kames, uh, the New King James Version, but obviously you can look up uh, the version that you prefer. Um, either way, no matter what version you read this, really this is extremely powerful. It's just really awesome. Now to him, that is the Lord, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, oh, hallelujah, somebody, just those three words, above all that we can ask, think, according to the power, which is his power, that works in us. Some other translations actually say we, that we can ask, think, or imagine. So whatever we ask, whatever we, I mean, catch this. Whatever we ask, think, or imagine, God is saying that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we can even ask, think, or imagine. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. That is just so awesome. Hallelujah. We also know in the scripture that the Lord not only is able, but he is willing. When he reached out to, to heal the leper, he said, I am willing. Be cleansed. And he and Jesus said, oh, you see me. You see the heart of the Father. Hallelujah. And so that is the heart of our Father. That is the heart of our Lord. Not, not only able, but willing. Oh, hallelujah. And so this, when I, when you hear this declaration that I'm going to declare over you right now in the name of Jesus, I'm just, let me just get to my blog here. This is written again. This is on my blog on sabellasblessingshop.com. Um, I posted this on October 8th. This was on purpose, by the way. Um, October 8th, 8 being the number for new beginnings. The Lord had me actually post it purposefully on that date as well. Going into this, uh, the Spirit of God is now arising in me to speak Ephesians 3.20, faith over you, royal people of God. That was a Holy Spirit phrase right there. Royal people of God, based on the scripture that we are kings and priests in Christ. Yes, you heard me right. You are indeed royalty in Christ, according to your Papa God. Uh, that royalty is not a prideful royalty. That royalty is based on who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. That's a Christ confidence. It's based on Jesus. This is how God sees us. So get ready to agree and receive in Jesus' might matchless name. Amen and amen. 
I speak, I declare in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 3.20, over you right now in the name of Jesus, into and over your lives in the name of Jesus. I declare even now as I speak it and as you speak it over yourselves daily, Ephesians 3.20, faith seeds will take root in the good soil of your hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And so catch that now. Uh, in this word, in this declaration, the Lord is encouraging you. So now I'm declaring and decreeing this over thee by, by the authority he's given me to speak that as a king priest in Christ, as a pastor, okay, I, I, as a, a prophetic voice or prophet, I'm speaking this over you because he has given this word to me by his spirit to speak out in the name of Jesus. However, he's also saying as you speak this word. And so I want to encourage you you today beloved for you to also begin to speak this word over yourself daily or however many times that you feel led to speak it or need to speak it to encourage yourself again you are welcome to go online print it out whatever you want to do or just simply speak Ephesians 3 20 that's what he's talking about here going back to that. So I now, in the name of Jesus, by the authority given to me to speak in the name of Jesus, I prophesy and declare that Ephesians 3.20 faith, seeds that have been rooted as God has intended, will then spring up just at the right time and multiply, bringing forth a harvest like you have never seen before to his glory in Jesus' name. I declare and decree that this harvest will be more more than 30, 60, or 100 fold because it will be Ephesians 320 fold, hallelujah, which is what? Abundantly above all you can ask, think, or imagine in Jesus' name. I speak life over the seeds of God, which are the words of God in your heart soil to now come alive in Jesus' name. I command the seeds of God that have taken root in good heart soil to be fruitful and and multiply in you your life and others lives now in Jesus name oh hallelujah I prophesy that as God sends you forth you will also speak and seed others with Ephesians 320 faith in Jesus name I prophesy and decree by by Ephesians 320 faith that wherever God sends you when you believe and boldly speak in kingdom authority as the Holy Spirit leads there will be supernatural atmospheres and dimension shifts as you rise up, sons and daughters of the living God, in Jesus' name. For people of God, you will have what you speak. You will eat the fruit thereof, the fruit of your lips, the fruit of the power of life and death that are in the power of your tongues. So dare to take him at his word, brothers and sisters, and speak in Jesus' mighty matchless name. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. A lot of nuggets in this word, hallelujah. So I just encourage you, agree and receive that right now. In the name of Jesus, leave a comment below that you disagree and receive it, amen. And I stand in agreement with you for that amen to receive it by faith. Also, I want to point out some things. Those of you that know me, the Holy Spirit teaches through me as well as training and equipping, not just prophesying. And this is this is on purpose, okay? This is not uh, me just talking to talk. This is not me uh, taking a long time. This is not me interrupting the message. Uh, this is me speaking by the Spirit of God purposefully in the way that He wants to work through me to help you, to help some of you that are going to hear this. This word to match your faith to that word okay those of you that that feel confident to receive it and don't need that that's fine but I want to remind you that there are people that come on here that you may have no idea who they are and they need more encouragement than just the prophetic word at times and so I just want to encourage you to re recognize that okay so let's go back a little bit and unpack this word this is a declaration it's a prophetic declaration all right what does that mean I have a brother contact me the other day he asked me okay I received a prophetic word how do I act on that 
One of the things, when you get a prophetic word or a declaration such as this spoken over you, one is to agree and receive it in Jesus' name. If you witness to it, receive it in Jesus' name. The other thing, the part of acting by faith is paying attention to this, is declaring and decreeing that word, declaring and decreeing that declaration over yourself in the name of Jesus. The Lord actually, he's the one that inspired this word, Holy Spirit. He actually talked about, as I was speaking, this word part of the power and anointing that's in this word is even though he was having me speak it on your behalf in the name of Jesus he also had the part of the declaration of this is also as you speak it over yourself daily so there so in this word at the beginning where I was saying I speak Ephesians 320 over you and into your lies and I and then he had me say I even declare that even now as I speak and as you speak over yourself daily Ephesians 3.20, faith seeds a harvest like you've never seen before, hallelujah, will come forth to his glory. So that's something to pay attention to, okay? Because what's built into this word is an instruction of the Lord. He's not just saying, oh, receive this word. He's saying partner with him, not only to receive it when I speak it by faith, but for you to now take responsibility, brother and sister in Christ, and you now speak out of your mouth as a king, priest in Christ, and you also speak it over yourself. When? How much does he say? Daily, daily. That's the instruction of the Lord that is built into this declaration. Hallelujah. Isn't he so good? Because he helps us with this. That's not always the case, by the way. Sometimes it's very quick and easy. Sometimes it's simple. Sometimes it's way more complex. Uh, what's, what is important? That we understand what the Lord's instructing. And so in this particular case, this is not just me speaking it and you receiving it. It's you partnering with this word and you also taking responsibility by faith to speak this over you. Why? Because you'll also notice in this message, he's talking about seeds. Okay, Jesus hearkened seeds in the Bible to the words of God. And so you faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, also referred to as seeds, as an example by Lord Jesus in the Bible. Okay, he also refers to death and life in the power of the tongue. He's saying at the end, we will eat the fruit thereof, of what? Of what comes out of our mouth. Therefore, he's saying, be encouraged, rise up, agree with my, my word that I will do abundantly above all you can ask, think, or imagine, but you need to match your faith with that. I will not overtake your free will, and therefore this is the Lord. I'm not going to overtake your free will. That's what he's saying there, and so I need you to partner with me to receive, he's saying, that you then, now you speak as well this over yourself. If you want this harvest, if you want this awesome word, which is awesome, it's going to take you also to speak this. Okay. Now, some of you may even, if you just receive it, you may get a portion of this, um, but it doesn't say that. And that's why I'm taking the time to, to talk about it for a minute, um, because it does say you also declare and decree this. All right. Now, why am I saying this? Because of that point so that you don't get discouraged. Sometimes people make the mistake of thinking they receive a prophetic word or even a declaration and that they don't need to do anything for that. That's just not true. You, we need to contend for things. The devil comes in to steal that seed. That's that example in the Bible where Jesus talks about the word being seed. He talks about the soil of our hearts. He talks about the seed being squeezed out by anxieties, by the cares of life. He talks about the people who receive it gladly, but then when trouble comes, they don't stand. It's not rooted. And so there is a contending for the word of God, including rhema words, including prophetic and declarations. This is a scriptural declaration it is prophetic as well in nature because it's something that God is saying will happen as you declare and decree it. And therefore, you want to make sure that you recognize there will be a contending in that. And so you want to make sure that you partner and you contend. Hallelujah. And so be encouraged by this word. So I hope that this, this really builds you up today and encourages you. This is the season we're transitioning into. There's another word um, that the Lord had me post on my blog that I encourage you to look at. It has to do with dimension shifting. Now he taught, he touched on that in this word as well. Hallelujah. He talked about sh uh, shifting dimensions and atmospheres. So he gave me a prophetic word around the beginning of October as well 
um, that I post or I posted about a beginning of October and it's called Dimension Shifters. I want to encourage you guys to uh, take a peek at that. It's a short word, but it's a powerful word. And again, it's going more into the victory. It's, it's, it's going a little bit more into talking about those of us were in a lot of battle. Um, you know, we've been talking about that for quite a while. Again, that's, that's the nature of where we're at in the season and times that we're in on the earth, uh, that that's going to continue. And so we need to get very trained in that. Those of you that heard my word last week about victory is close at hand. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. If you witness to that, be encouraged uh, to receive that word for yourself. The dimension shifters uh, goes a little bit more into that and talks about the shifting of dimensions. The word I just spoke over you also does. So I want to encourage you, uh, again, if you want to really get into this, if you want to get deeper, if you really want to uh, hear uh, what the Lord is sharing with me anyway, we only prophesy in part, we only hear in part. I'm only one part out of millions of people in the body of Christ. Uh, but if you want, if, if you want, if you witness to, if you feel that you can receive from Holy Spirit in me, Christ in me and you want to check out what he's sharing, I encourage you to go to my blog and also my Facebook page, uh, Sabella Owens Ministries. Um, right now, the Lord has me stepping back from some of the social media for the next month or so to spend more intimate time with him. So the only things I'm posting right now, just so you guys are aware, uh, I am doing this YouTube video. I might not do it next week unless he tells me to do it. He did give me the okay to do it now. But if for some reason I'm not on the next week or so, you just so you understand, it's because I am taking time with the Lord. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm being obedient to the Spirit of God because uh, we want to make sure we don't get pulled into and end up uh, making social media an idol. We can even make ministry an idol, brothers and sisters, and we need to make sure that we don't do that. And so it's important that we pull back and that we get refueled. You're going to see there may be other team members of mine that may answer your comments below and so on and so forth. I, I want to uh, make sure Pastor Annie is one of them. Uh, there may be other people that uh, as I pray about and, and as the Lord shows me, as, I, as my ministry has been growing really quickly, um, hallelujah but I do need to be able to have other people come in to make sure that your comments can get answered, to make sure that we're standing in agreement with your prayers. So I want to give you a heads up on that, that that is something that, that is okayed by me. If you see someone uh, there, I am still keeping an eye on these things. I am still looking at these comments. I am still, we're, we have people praying over uh, these things. You are being covered. We are paying attention to that uh, and what's being put on here. Um, okay, but I'm not always able to come on immediately and there may be someone else that comes on from my team, um, um, particularly uh, Pastor Annie, that will be able to come in and stand with you in agreement. So I just want to encourage you on that. Okay, as the ministry expands, that's what's going to happen. I, I need other teams. Again, if you're interested in the School of the Spirit, Ephesians 3.20, School of the Spirit, uh, please check that out on my website. Um, it's right on the menu, sabellablessingshops.com. Right when you see it, it says School of the Spirit. Click on it. You can also sign up at the bottom of that or at the bottom of my website just for info on that. Uh, why is that helpful? Because it helps me to streamline because I am I am doing ministry in, in so many different areas and getting messages and emails and all sorts of things. And I need to now get much more streamlined as the ministry is expanding and as God is is doing more things. So it's very helpful. If you're interested in that, um, my request of you is would you please go on and sign up on, on the actual uh, page on my website, sabellasblessingshop.com, as opposed to sending me separate emails from different accounts. That that because you're you may get lost if you're trying to send me um, an email about that through my contact or through Facebook or through Messenger or through YouTube, and um, you know you may get lost in that because there's been because I have so many comments and so many people that are contacting me, and that needs to be more streamlined. So that is the spirit of God 
God leading me to do that. Okay, and so um, so I appreciate that. That helps you. That helps me. That helps uh, me and my team to help you uh, by the Spirit of God. Uh, and also, you'll see there's some groups that you can check off if you're interested, not only enrolling or being a possible student uh, for this school, which will be again available online or in person. But also, uh, we're looking for various help in those areas. You can take a look at that on my website. Please be prayerful about that. We will also be being prayerful about that. Um, just because you sign up saying you have interest does not automatically mean you're going to be on that team, nor does it uh, force you to commit to that, nor will it force you to commit. If you sign up just because you want info on the School of the Spirit, uh, please be assured that that doesn't somehow make you, you know, you're not then suddenly forced to be a part of this or anything like that. It's simply to give you information um, to keep you up to date and to help streamline those emails. Those When you sign up, it's through MailChimp, which means you'll have to confirm that email, okay? So check that out and make sure that if you're interested, you get our, um, you know, get the email in your address book, as you know, because it'll, it'll just go into spam. All right, so hope that you're blessed. Again, I'm being led by the Spirit to share what I share on my videos. Uh, nothing is being said just for the sake of speaking. I just, I always like to make that clear, particularly to people who are new, because I'm having new subscribers every day come on who may not uh, be used to how the Spirit of God works through me the way um, a, a lot of you already are. So that's just part of the, that teaching gift. Okay, so be blessed. God bless you until I speak with you again. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.